It is another question regarding the polarization. We are given the electric field vector which is propagating, sorry, the wave is propagating in positive direction and we are asked what is the kind of polarization associated with this wave. So we have explained the phenomenon of polarization in previous problems. So we will quickly check what is the kind of polarization. From this it is clear that the magnitude of both the electric field in x direction and y direction are same so this can be written as ex equal to sin omega t minus beta z and ey is sin omega t minus beta z plus pi by 2 that means this can be written as cos of omega t minus beta z so we have e x and e y the wave is coming towards us that is this is e x and this is e y this is positive z that is coming out of the screen now e y is cos omega t minus beta z we have to check for what is the resultant amplitude and phase of the resultant electric field vector that means the electric field vector magnitude square is ex square plus ey square that is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta that will be 1 so we don't need to compute it bit further so it is having a value of 1 and its amplitude is constant means if the wave is going to rotate that means if phase is a function of omega t then it will be circular let's see whether phase is a function of omega t that means phi equal to tan inverse e y by e x that is tan inverse of cos omega t by sin omega t that is tan inverse 1 by tan omega t we know the identity that is tan inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 minus cot inverse of x that is equal to so this is tan inverse of cot which can be written as pi by 2 minus cot inverse of cot x that is pi by 2 minus omega t here as omega t is increasing the angle is decreasing so it is going to rotate in clockwise direction like this okay. if now we keep our left hand thumb along the direction of propagation that is out of the screen then our fingers roll in this direction so it is left hand circular polarization instead of doing all this we can do a cube check that means if magnitude is not a function of t okay, magnitude is not a function of t and phase is a function of time then it is going to be circular polarization and if e y leads ex this is th for this particular case when the wave is traveling along is a direction and we have ex and ey components and e if ey leads ex then it is left handed circular polarization so this is for quickly finding out which of the option is correct so we have to look for the amplitude so it is a constant for the resultant that means it is going to be circular and ey is leading ex so it will be left hand circular polarization it's better to do this calculation and find out if you do a lot of problems in similar manner you will get to know just by seeing a wave equation what will be the kind of polarization it has